Okay, so let's get started. Hello and welcome to Excelibur. In this video, I will give you a short introduction to Google Sheets. Okay, so the first step is always is to log in into Google Sheets. What is the procedure to do that? You can open your browser and in Google, you can search for Google Sheets. Okay, and then you get a uh, Google Sheets, you can either click on this link or Google Sheets sign in directly. Okay, so you go to Google Sheets and here the primary requirement is that you have a Gmail ID. If not, you have to first create your Gmail ID. Now I do have a Gmail ID, so I sign in with my Gmail ID. Okay, I type in my password and then it logs in to this screen. So now you have an option to create a new Google Sheet by clicking this blank button or you can use some predefined templates. So this is an analytic dashboard, that's a monthly budget, that's a to-do list. And on the bottom it shows the earlier sheets that you had already opened. Okay, so we can also see the template gallery. So it has different templates, for example personal, so to-do list, annual budget, monthly budget. Then it's finance, it's, there's a calendar, and you can have a scheduler, there's a travel planner, wedding planner, team roster, then for work, you have invoice, annual business budget, expense report. Similarly, you'll find a lot of templates. You also find templates for project management, right? And then for education, attendance, grade book, assignment tracker, something like that, okay? So in this video, what we'll do is we'll start with a blank Google Sheet. Now, as soon as I open this blank Google Sheet, you will see that it looks exactly like Excel. Okay, so it's more or less similar to Excel, but you know, it's online, you can, you know, use it on any device, open it from any device. Always remember the first step you should also always do is define a name for it. Okay, so on the, on the untitled spreadsheet here, you can click and you can give it a name. Okay, so I'll write test for example. Okay, and it saves automatically. You see, it is saved to the drive, so it saves automatically. Now we'll just see and have a quick look in the menus. So you see on the top we have different menus, and here we have a toolbar. So in the uh, toolbar, you see we have undo, redo, print buttons. This is the for paint format. This is the zoom level. Then these are the formats of the currency, format for the percentage, increase decimal places, decrease decimal places. So a lot of options, the font height, then you know whether it's, you can do it bold, italic, strike through, then there are colors, okay? So all these options are available here. Now if you go to the file menu, you see you can create a new one from here, new spreadsheet or a template, open, import, you can make a copy. We'll also talk about sharing later, right? So you can email these directly. You can download them okay, in the form of Microsoft Excel as well. So you can use them later as an offline Excel sheet. You can directly transport them to PDF, a web page, or a CSV file. Okay, you can rename that. And we also maintain a version history here. So, you know, if you want to go back to a particular version, you can go back to it. In the edit menu, we have uh, the default options cut copy paste undo redo right in view you can you know see what do you want to see on the toolbars you can also freeze the paints freezing options are here you can group them right on the insert we can insert cells rows columns so all the default options that are available in excel are also available here in the format you can do the formatting stuff in data you can sort the sheets create filters okay and you can do data validation you can do data cleanup in tools you can even insert Google Forms here. Automatic spelling and uh, grammar can be also checked, right? And in extensions, you can also write macros, scripts, and connect it to other third-party apps. Okay, so it's very simple, you know, to, uh, let's say, type in some data here. Let's say I type serial number. So it's very simple, the same way it works, right? You can write one, two, three, four, and then you can, let's say, define any kind of data here. So it works uh, exactly the same way, okay? A very important and good feature is sharing, right? 
so what we saw here in the file menu now let's go back to here so you can share it with others though so that you know the other people can collaborate and work with you so a link uh, you know is shared also if you see the share option comes here okay so if I click on the sharing option let it load now I can add people so basically here I have to type the email of the person with whom I want to share the file and also I can also copy a link and here I can choose that you know it's restricted to these people or anybody with that link can open this file okay so that is something which is also new here in Google Sheets so basically this was a quick overview of the Google Sheets and we'll go in detail and talk about the other things in the next videos thank you very much